Welcome to my engineering drawing playlist. Today we are going to discuss about types of engineering curves or you can say classification of engineering curves. So let's start with classification of engineering curves. Generally engineering curves are divided in four different groups: conics, cycloidal, involute and spiral. Now let's see one by one. In the conics group, there are three types of the engineering curves, ellipse, parabola and hyperbola. In cycloidal group, there are three types of the engineering curves, cycloid, epicycloid and hypocycloid. Involute, there are two different types of the curve, involute of polygon and involute of circle. Spiral. There are basically two types of the spiral, Archimedean spiral and logarithmic spiral. But Archimedean spiral is mostly used for the engineering drawing subject. So now let's see one by one briefly all these type of the different engineering curves. But here the important one, these are actually the different types of the group of engineering curves. This is not actually the name of the engineering curve. But we can say in another word, it is the group of engineering curves. Whereas these are called as the different engineering curves. Now let's see one by one all these type of the different engineering curves briefly. So let's start with the first one in the conics ellipse. This is the ellipse. Here you can say P is the moving point whereas F1 and F2 are the foci point which are fixed. If you cut the cone in this way then you will get the ellipse. Here you can see ellipse having major axis and minor axis. Here this is the major axis and this one is the minor axis. This is called as the vertical ellipse, this is called as the horizontal ellipse. If you want to generate the ellipse, then this is the concept to understand the ellipse. These both are the foci point. Here you can see F1 and F2 and this P is the moving point. If you cut the cone by using the different cutting plane, then you will get the different shape of the engineering curve. So the important points or you can say the important terminology for the ellipse this is called as the major axis, this is called as the minor axis, these are the focus points and this one is the moving point. These both are known as the vertex point of the ellipse, generally denoted by V1 and V2. Now next one, parabola. And here you can see the path or you can say the locus of the ball that is known as the parabola. So very simple concept of the parabola. Here you can see this is the horizontal distance covered by the ball and this is called as a vertical distance covered by the ball. So generally parabola is defined by the horizontal distance and vertical distance. Now next one hyperbola. Here you can see if the cone is cut by the vertical plane then you will get the hyperbola on both sides. So I have shown over here on both sides and here you can see hyperbola with the blue color. This is the hyperbola and you can see here the cooling towers of the nuclear reactor. So this shape is hyperbolic shape. So we have discussed about the different engineering curves in the conics group, ellipse, parabola and hyperbola. Now here it is the comparison of these three different engineering curves in one figure. Here you can see ellipse, parabola and hyperbola. So try to understand the eccentricity with respect to this figure. So eccentricity is actually the ratio of the moving point from the focus point here you can see pf divided by the distance of this moving point p 
from the directories so here you can see ed so very simple uh, it is actually the ratio of the moving point p from the focus point to the directories so in case of the ellipse you can see here pf that is less than pd and that's why it is always less than 1 so in case of ellipse eccentricity is always less than 1 for the parabola here you can see pf upon pd so in case of parabola pf and pd both are always equal and that's why in case of parabola eccentricity is always equal to 1 for the hyperbola here you can see pf is greater than pd and that's why in case of hyperbola eccentricity is greater than 1 so i think you can understand with respect to this figure the concept of eccentricity and the comparison of these three different engineering curves in the conics group so here also you can see one more figure now next group cycloidal group having three types of the engineering curves cycloid epicycloid and hypocycloid now let's see one by one so here you can see this is the cycloid with the red color so very simple concept if the ruling circle rules on the straight line then the locus of any one point on the circumference of the circle generates the cycloid now in case of epicycloid it is almost equal to the cycloid but the difference is the ruling circle rules on the another circle then it creates the epicycloid now in case of hypocycloid the rolling circle rolls inside of the circle so you will get the hypocycloid so very simple in case of cycloid the rolling circle rolls on the straight line in case of epicycloid rolling circle rolls on the another circle whereas in case of hypocycloid rolling circle rolls inside of the circle now third group involute having two types of engineering curves involute of polygon and involute of circle now let's see one by one here you can see involute of circle that means if you wound or unwound the string from the circumference of the circle then you will get the involute of circle so this red color is actually the involute of circle here also you can see the string is unwound from the circumference of the circle then you will get the involute of circle so here the involute can be for the one revolution or it can be more than one revolution now here you can see involute of polygon so string is unwound or wound from the perimeter of the polygon then it is called as the involute of polygon here you can see triangle that's why it is called as the involute of triangle here it is the square so it is called as the involute of square here it is circle so you can say this is the involute of circle so very simple concept involute of polygon and involute of circle now the last one archimedean spiral so here you can see this red color is actually the archimedean spiral and here also you can see this is actually archimedean spiral it can be more than one revolution also i hope you understood the concept of the types of the engineering curves which curve is difficult to understand Write your answer in the comment box. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate it.